All right, guys, so I stumbled across this video of a TikToker who happens to be a black man that loses it, loses it on camera after being called an N-word by somebody that I believe is not black. And I want to play this clip for you guys because I think what he's saying is powerful and it also is a good opportunity to talk about <laughs> my opinion on the N word and how it's used every day and has become a part of basically common American vernacular. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the clip. True story. Just yesterday, uh, a young black guy on my job, around 20 some years old, he called me the N word and I got upset and I told him, I warned him, I said, don't, don't call me the N word. So he didn't quite understand why I was upset about him calling me the N word. And I said, let me tell you a little story. I said, back in the early 1980s, my parents moved us to an all-white town in North Carolina. I was around 12 years old, okay? And within days of moving to this town, we saw Ku Klux Klan newsletters and all kind of crap in our front yard every day, okay? So my brother, my younger brother and I, we were like, why would our parents move us to an all-white town like this? We didn't understand. So, but in the midst of all that, you know, I met two, two cool little white dudes and they told me where I can go ride my BMX bike skateboard and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I went there, had a good time, and I left. And when I left there, I, I was by myself riding my bike back home. I was riding, and all of a sudden, a car jumped the curve. It was two older white men. Jumped out of the car and said, where you going, N-word? I looked, and they said, take your ass back where you come from, you little N-word. And the taller one, he took and looked in my eyes with so much hate and he spit directly in my face and called me the N-word again. And they left. They didn't touch me, but they left. I remember wiping my face off and I got back on my bicycle and I started riding back home and I cried. I cried. There was nobody there to protect me. This was done to a 12 year old kid. And I remember, I told myself, I said, when I become a man, I would never allow any body to call me the N-word. I don't give a damn you black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican. I don't give a damn who you are. People are brainwashed. There's nothing cool about using that N-word. You're brainwashed. Wake the f up. Yeah, so that was kind of crazy. I definitely was not expecting the end of that video when I first watched it. But I guess it does go to show how passionate he is about this subject and how he does not like being called the N-word, even by people who are non-white, uh, because of the experience that he went through in the past. And I guess this is a good time to talk about, you know, the N-word and whether or not, you know, we should keep using it or whatever. But my opinion on it is this, right? Um, I'm personally a free speech guy, right? I, I really don't like the idea of banning words. I don't like the idea of ownership over words, but I do understand people's perspective who are genuinely hurt when somebody uses that word, even though it is confusing because most of the people that get hurt by somebody using that word, they also use that word, right? They just use it to describe other black people, right? And for whatever reason... <laughs> black people that are so upset about the use of this word, uh, a lot of them use the word themselves, which again is an interesting dynamic. So they tell white people that, hey, you can't use the word because the word is so racist, okay? And it's so derogatory, it's so bad. It has scarred us for life, right? It's so bad that you have to ban it. But yet, <laughs> black people are allowed to say it, okay? And again, I guess this applies to uh, the N word with an A as well too because white people can't say the N-word with A, okay? So, I mean, again, to me, it's like whether it's the N-word with E-R or the N-word with an A, apparently that word is just off limits because it's such a bad word, right? Because of the history behind it, which I 100% understand. Here's my problem. Um, if we're gonna get to the point where society is saying that we need to ban it, that you know certain groups of people can't use it, then nobody should use it because if the word is truly that bad, then it does not matter who is using it or who is directed towards. It, it doesn't matter. The word is just bad. 
evidenced by this guy getting upset by another black man calling him the n-word and i'm assuming that he called him the n-word with an a uh because of his past experience where white guys allegedly spit on him as a child and called him the n-word allegedly so again <laughs> if the word is so bad then nobody should be able to use it okay either Everybody should better use it or nobody should better use it. Again, I'm a free speech guy. My only issue with the N-word is that I, I don't understand the whole ownership stuff. I really don't because that ownership is also what gives the word power. To me, just saying, hey, you know what? I don't care who using it. I'm not going to be out here personally policing who use it. It doesn't really affect me. I'm not that hurt by it. To me, I think that takes away all the power out of the word. The word doesn't mean anything at that point. Okay. Just like if you call, you know, a white person a C-word <laughs> and white people don't get nearly as upset about that because most of them really don't care, right? They really don't care. Again, I understand the C-word doesn't have the same history behind it as the N-word. Furthermore, I feel like the policing of the word is arbitrary because it seems like the word is not necessarily off limits to anybody who's not black. It's just off limits to whites because you have Latinos that use the word. Asians use the word, Africans use the word, Arabs use the word. Everybody basically uses the word <laughs> except white people, okay, who seem to not be allowed to use the word. Again, black people, at least from my experience, a lot of times when some of these other groups of people use the word, there's no pushback, right? There's no, hey, you know, you can't use that word, blah, blah, blah. It's almost like, oh, okay, well, I guess they can kind of use it because they're not white, <laughs> Right. You now, again, sometimes I, I guess there are instances where people will police it. But I'm just saying. This word is not just used by black people. It's, it's used by a lot of people. It, and it seems like some people are able to just get away with it if if they are black enough. Right. Or close enough to black, a.k.a. not white. Like, for example, Fat Joe, who's of Puerto Rican and Cuban descent. Uh, he's been using the N word all his life all his career god's not black he's had rappers defend his use of the n-word however the woke mob has just started to come after him for his use of the n-word throughout his career and here was his response to people trying to ban him from using the word take a look first of all my projects is 90 percent. i'll give you 80 percent black still my grandmother's projects is 99.9 percent .9 black be clear it's a lot of uh, woke society or something going on these days and Twitter and all that that um I guess they don't understand where I come from, or mm -hmm. where I was born. I've been saying this thing in my DNA. It's hard, bro. No one's going to pressure Fat Joe into feeling or saying anything that he loves or he believes in. No one's ever going to do that. You get one life and ain't nobody going to try to... Tell me what to say. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to think. I mean, do I look like uh, a racist? If somebody's really mm -hmm. upset with me saying the N word. What are you saying? I'm a I'm a racist. Um, I'm just saying. If 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 society wants to ban it, fine. But it has to be banned for everybody. If you're not gonna ban it for everybody, then everybody should be able to use it. Or put it this way, I'm not gonna go out of my way to police people against using it. Okay, and I don't think that other people should do that either because again we do live in a free country where people are allowed <laughs> to say what they want to say okay for, for the most part as long as it's not a direct threat of violence you can say what you want to say um so i'm just saying in regards to the n-word conversation the n-word debate either <laughs> we're banning it completely or everybody can use it that is how i feel about it let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace